Manchester United travel to the Emirates on Sunday to face Arsenal. This is the first time in 40 years that Manchester United have faced Arsenal in the second half of the season when neither team has been in the top four. And it's sort of indicative of a Premier League campaign that hasn't really gone right for either Arsenal or Manchester United. We've got a chance at redemption by winning two more games. We've won the Europa League and we've got a spot in the Champions League. But Arsenal, all their eggs are in this basket. But how is the form of both teams going into this fixture? Man United were brilliant away in Spain against Celta Vigo. A tough team. The whole of Vigo was out in what was the biggest game in the history of their club. But Man United shut them down. It was a very, very good professional away performance in Europe. 1-0. But it could have been 3 or 4 if our finishing was a little bit better. You could say that across the whole of the season. But prior to that, we had a frustrating one all draw with Swansea in a game where we probably deserved to lose. And if you look at the three games prior to that, we had that wonderful win over Chelsea, a professional win over Burnley, and a gritty draw away at Man City. So overall, Man United's form has been good. You know, we're unbeaten in the last 12 in all competitions. We're unbeaten in 25 games in the Premier League. And crucially, Man United's away form has been a hell of a lot better than our home form. We've got like 11 Premier League home draws this season. It's ridiculous. But now that we're playing this at the Emirates instead of Old Trafford, this season tells us that Man United's form is a lot better away from home. So that bodes well. As for Arsenal, their season has just been on the decline for some time. And they're coming into this game off the back of a humiliation at White Hart Lane. The last North London derby was won comfortably, comfortably by Tottenham Hotspur. It was a good first half by Arsenal, but the second half they collapsed. Two goals in two minutes and they had no response. So the worst possible game they could play now is a Jose Mourinho team because Wenger has never beaten Jose Mourinho in a league game. 12 times they have faced each other and Wenger has never won one of those games. So it couldn't come at a worse time for them. They're currently five points behind Manchester United. They do have a game in hand, but all of Arsenal's eggs are in this top four basket. And I don't even think finishing top four will make any sort of difference to a, a season which has been toxic from the start for Arsenal. And it really isn't going to get any better, I don't think, on Sunday. Regardless of the result, Arsenal are in free fall decline. Will, we will Wenger stay? Nobody really knows. And that's the big issue surrounding Arsenal at the moment, is that no one gives a fuck about the football. They want to know what's going on with Wenger more than most. Of course, the two teams met at Old Trafford early this season. That ended in a one-all draw. Arguably the most frustrating one-all draw Man United have had at Old Trafford this season. We have dominated Arsenal. They did not have a shot on target until Olivier Giroud popped up in the last minute with a headed equaliser. And United brought that upon themselves. You know, the last 15, 20 minutes, we sat deep. And we sat deeper and deeper and deeper with a defence that I didn't think the fans had the confidence in that we could hold out for that draw. Old Trafford, you could feel it. We were tense. And you could see it in the players as well. And ultimately, it cost Man United two points. We'd be seven points ahead of Arsenal had we not conceded that last minute equaliser. And it, as I said, it bodes well for going into this game and how well we've played against them at Old Trafford and our good away form. But that was one hell of a frustrating draw we had at Old Trafford early this season. And of course, you can't talk about this game without looking at Wenger against Mourinho. It's been one of the managerial clashes of the Premier League that everybody's going to remember. As I said, 12 times they've faced off against each other and Wenger has never won one of those games. And, you know, ahead of this game, Wenger has said that he wants to try and make peace with Jose Mourinho. Of course he wants to make peace with Mourinho because Mourinho has had Wenger's number the entire time he's been in England. So for me, Mourinho doesn't have to change anything. Why would you? You've, you haven't lost in 12 of those games. And coming into this match after that Celta Vigo game, yes, we're going to have concerns with injuries and exhaustion. And Arsenal have had a full week since that game against Tottenham Hotspur. But Wenger's number has been in the back pocket of Mourinho for a long, long time. And hopefully that does not change on Sunday. So going into it, it will definitely be Mourinho who's more confident. But how confident are the fans? We've asked Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV to give us his thoughts on the game. And here's what he had to say. What can I say? You don't know what Arsenal's going to turn up these days. Um, against Tottenham last week, we were so, so poor. But then the week before against Manchester City, we weren't too bad. I mean, you just don't know what Arsenal's going to turn up. I think certainly at home, you're going to see a better Arsenal than what you saw last week in the North London derby. You're also going to be very stung 
by the criticism that they've received this week. However, they can be a bit weak with that as well. And if it doesn't go their way straight away, and we know that Mourinho is going to make it really difficult for us, that that Arsenal team can also kind of crumble. I do, however, though, think that at home, you know, we haven't got a de- we've got a decent record against the top teams. Maybe not always beating them, but not losing to them. And if I'm being honest, I can see this game being a draw. I can see Mourinho, I already hear him about his resting players and that. I think there's a lot of mind games in that. But I can see Mourinho uh, really coming and being really defensive and having a really defensive shape and making it really, really difficult for Arsenal. Um, And I can see the game ending up in a kind of a frustrating draw. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm trying to be honest on this. I'm going for a frustrating draw. I hope it doesn't work out that way. I hope that we get our game together and that we really go and attack Manchester United. But Mourinho just always seems to have one over us, so I'm going for a frustrating draw. And the concerns for Man United are obvious going into this match. You know, we played in Spain on Thursday. We flew back at 3 a.m. or something on Friday morning. We've now then got to travel down to London for a Sunday 4 o'clock kickoff. Marcus Rashford went off injured against... A Celta Vigo, Asher Young, he could be out for the season. Marcus Rojo and Ibrahimovic are already out for the season. Paul Pogba's just come back from injury. Eric Bailly, is he going to be 100% fit? There are injury concerns left, right and centre for Manchester United. And yes, we played nine games in April, but that's just the mark of a successful team who are still in lots of competitions. The reason it's hurting Man United so much is because it's happening at the same time as all these injuries. And when you combine the two, and Man United are trying to go through this heavy, heavy fixture period with a very depleted squad, that's where Mourinho's frustration is coming from. That's why Man United are playing so well to get a 1-0 win away at Celta Vigo. But can we do it at the Emirates on Sunday? It's a much tougher game. And for Mourinho, it's not as important. So he's probably going to rest some players. And, you know, who's going to be in the starting 11? Make sure you check out our starting 11 prediction show. But as for my prediction for the game... I'm really, really tempted to say that Man United are going to come out of this with a 1-0 win. But I'm going to be slightly more pessimistic and say it's going to be a one all draw. Man United's focus is the Europa League. Thursday is what matters for Mourinho and probably the players as well, which sounds really strange to say that ahead of a trip to the Emirates to face Arsenal in the Premier League. These Arsenal games used to be the pinnacle of the season. Back when it was Vieira against Keane, it's not the same anymore. But this is, this is a top four battle I suppose but it's, it's been the worst top four battle you'll ever see teams dropping points left right and centre it's just a limp walk over the line but if Man United can beat Arsenal here we'd be eight points ahead of them they'd have a game in hand on us but they'd effectively be out of that top four race and that's always been Wenger's mantra that's always been how Wenger's kept his job I feel if we take that away from him will Wenger lose his job we don't know what's going on with Arsenal in terms of their managerial position but that is a focus for the club right now it's distracting the fans it's distracting the players and that bodes well for Manchester United but I think Arsenal will be up for this I do think we'll concede because they're going to have a lot of possession and whether or not our defence is solid enough to hold up to it it held up away at Man City it held up against Chelsea at home can it do it away to Arsenal do you think it can let me know in the comments below Uh, make sure you drop a like on the video Make sure you check out the Start 11 Prediction Show, which we're going to do as well. We'll see you soon. Hopefully after three points at the Emirates. Take it easy.